Okay, this is the beginning of part two. So I could not, I'll show you in a second. I could not get this driver's window to align. Everything I tried, I just could not do it. It was in too far. So I got a friend named Darren that actually sold me this car and it was all rusted out. I knew what I was getting into, but I wanted something to do. Anyway, he came up, called him up, he came over, and I'm gonna go over it real quick right now. He just left, and he's in some earlier videos. That's what he, that's what he does. He loves working on Pontiacs. But I'll show you what, what he did, which, and it's part of the Body Works fault, Bo the not the the paint Body Work company's fault. So I'm just gonna go over this real quick. When I took this car in, I had all the gaps lined up perfectly you know it matters door gaps trunk gaps hood gaps everything so when i get when it came back i noticed that this this panel right here back up was sticking out about a quarter of an inch and i was thinking to myself well i'll, I'll get to it i'll get to it but i didn't want to do it because i just didn't want to do it so He's looking at it and he goes, well, she, he goes, you can't line the window up if the door's not lined up, which I guess is pretty obvious. So wh the way he lined this up, and if you ever have to adjust your doors, the way he did it, he just lowered, lowered the, loosened the bottom screws on the hinge, if you know what I'm talking about, pulled the door in from the, and then it lined up here, and now the window lines up. Uh, again, while this is fresh in my mind, I'm going to tell you what it was, some things I, I asked him about because I wasn't positive. Now, again, I'm going to say this the best I can. The window was tight here, really tight. So, you know, I was saying, I was trying to explain in the last video, but again, I'm learning as I go. He says these two right here are for adjusting the window side to side. You can see you have, I don't think I showed this in the last video, but this, there's some play. That's for going uh, side to side. So if you're too far that way, you can slide it this way. If you're too far this way, you can slide it that way. So he did that. So that's what these are for. But what he told me, and I guess I didn't read it right, is... I don't know if I can even show it, but right at the top of this, there's a, you see that? Again, the, the side to side is these two bolts right here. But that one, there's a stop in the inside the track and it looks like, uh, it looks like this. So when the window comes up, so now you gotta, you gotta adjust it side to side. But you're, let's say you're, you're too high here. You're too high. I'll back out. I know I'm not a very good video guy. But you're too high here. So you you put the window down. Like, let's say you're a quarter high. You put the window you put the window down a quarter inch. You loosen that stop. Lower it a quarter inch. And tighten it. Same on this side. You can do the... There's also, now again, I said you can, you can go up and down here. I don't know if I showed that. I don't even know if you can see it. But there's also a stop in this. There's a stop here and a stop here. So we're just going to close this window. From the, now there's no gaps here. Well, actually, there's a little one. So maybe I could even adjust it that way a little bit. That gap has gone there. It's hitting where I think it should hit. It's tight here. Yeah, maybe it could go a little bit that way. But the problem is, the more you go this way, the, the tighter it is when it goes up. Because it's, there's so much uh, pressure pushing back. 
but I think eventually it'll uh, like I say once you get it adjusted and just keep the card closed for a while the door closed for a while I think it'll start molding so again this this is just the beginning of part two and while I was here I was asking about this trunk I said this trunk is really hard to close so I don't know if you can see this but it wasn't in all the way you see here it he pushed it in but here you see this lip here that is not in I mean that's an extra quarter inch so again I'm just giving you hints I'm not the expert I'm just sharing what I know and then he pointed out something else if you go to my other videos somehow this has popped out of that slot the further you go down with this this is the torque rods the tighter the hood will be I mean the trunk will be so, so it stays up right now it's I don't know how that happened but I need to somehow lower that and that's another video also just while I'm thinking about it this can be adjusted there's two bolts right here that you can adjust this up or down for my car it's all the way adjusted up that's right then he uh, he adjusted the trunk back the way it was when I, when I had uh, did the work and now it lines up here and here now again anybody that knows how to do all this stuff just ignore this but if you're learning so what he did is he loosened up both of these on this side if I'm showing this this side and that side and he just for one thing it wasn't centered exactly right so he pushed it that way this way and we just adjusted it you know in and out to line up so those combination of things and fixing this the trunk will now close easy and it lines up So, I was totally, you know, working on these cars, you can get depressed sometimes. I don't know if that's the right word, but I couldn't figure this out. I couldn't figure it out. Then I, I just felt kind of uh, depressed, and I can't really explain the feeling. So, that's when I called them. Sometimes you get to a roadblock and you gotta find some help. I mean, it, again, now it's uh, now it's pretty obvious to me, as I say. And that's what my videos are about: is anybody can fix anything, but you have to struggle through it, and sometimes you gotta ask for help. So that's where I'm at, and. Uh, Oh, one more thing he showed me. Yeah, I'm just sharing this. I don't know why I didn't know this either. I think I went over this. I don't know if I went over this last time or not. But here's the... There was an option for a remote mirror. So, I'm just going to kind of point right here. Right at the end of my finger. You, you have you clip this in there's a hook behind here kind of like this and you slip the wire down in I didn't know that so he showed me that now there's another hook you can see the wire coming out of the mirror right about there there's another hook right there on the door that you need to hook it and see so it push the cable through hook it in that hook the cable runs down and you put it in this other hook I didn't know about that hook So, I'm just sharing this stuff while it's fresh in my mind. And, uh, and I feel better. The depression is gone. And uh, I went on my junk pile. Just more stuff. I ordered it. Remember the problem I was having with the Delco motor? Uh, windshield wiper motor? Uh, sprayer? I don't know what I just said. 
But I had an off-brand uh, brand, so I ordered the uh, Delco one, and I just looked. I was looking over my pile over there, way over there, and I found a Delco. So I also I ordered a new one, but I'm also going to try that first. And then he we were again. He's a, he's knows how to fix everything. So then we were talking about these spray nozzles. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if I said this or not before, but, and it seems so obvious that I feel like an idiot, but these can be bent up or down. You just reach in there and bend it up or down. So when I get the, when I get to it, I'll try the, I'll tr so we bent them up, which, and we'll see if that makes a difference with the new motor. I'm... I'm trying to get up to here. Now he says to me, he goes, it doesn't even matter if you're driving down the road, the water is going to blow the spray up. And he goes, besides that, he goes, nobody drives these cars in the uh, winter time. And he's right, but I just want shit to work. So that is it. That's where I'm at right now. Hope I gave somebody a few tips. And, uh, I really don't know what else to talk about right now. And I guess if you're messing around with your, your window motor, keep it plugged into a charger. Because it does drain it fast. So what I do now is I'm just, whenever I'm working on these doors, I just get out here and whenever I come out here. Today it wasn't until like 1.30 p.m. 1.30 in the afternoon. I just plug it in. And when I leave, I unplug it. So we're getting there, guys. Anybody that's been watching all these videos, we're almost there. Oh, I guess I got another thing to show. One more thing to show. I can't remember if I showed this or not. This has been out in the sun too long. But here's the front license plate bracket you need I painted this side okay that's what it looks like now you, so there's a hole here here and here okay just remember that like I don't think anybody has their light front license plate on but when I go to this car and I look at it I can't remember if I showed this before or not. You can see there's a hole. There's a hole here, here, and here. The problem is, straight down is like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's tilted way back. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do it today, but. So I had bought this kit, I don't know, a year ago or something. And I'm wondering, what is this all I need? I was thinking I just bolt the license plate to the body. But what I found out is, you see these rubber washers? They're like pieces of a hose. That's what you put behind it. I'm going to go looking straight down. To make up the difference to get it level, if that makes sense. So those are going to go through that plate that I showed you outside, and that's, and then these long bolts go right through those three spots. Again, I'm, I'm all over the place, but I, and I, and if I was to title all this, I mean, there's not enough room to say, let's say, door, window, stop, trunk, insulation, license plate. You just have to watch all the videos. But I'm pretty sure somewhere in the videos is an answer to almost every single question on this car. Again, this is not a this is not really a how to do how to rebuild your Trans Am. This is how to struggle through and learn to do it. And by the time you're done, I could do another one real easy. I can almost I can almost name any part now. 
not name, but if it's in a pile, it's like, oh, I know where that goes. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Well, I'm up at the house now. I just, I just shot that video that I was talking about about half hour, half hour ago, but I just wanted to add this that uh, I'm looking at the viewfinder. Um, and Darren brought this up and he's right. Uh, when you get the car, if, if you get the car painted and they take the doors off and they take the trunk lid off and they take the hood off and whatever they take off, plan, unless you take it, unless you get a really expensive restoration, plan that they're going to not tighten the bolts all the way. They're not going to have it aligned right. And so Darren says to me, he says, go around and check every bolt that they might have touched and make sure they're tight. So I was talking about the door hinge and how we adjusted it. And then he, he decided to check the top door uh, bolts and they were loose. So again, I'm not knocking the paint company really. I think they did a, for all the work they did with the stripes and uh, bodywork and paint and disassembly, I think it was fair. It was a lot, but I think it was fair. But they also made a lot of little mistakes that unless you go over everything, you might not even notice. And then it might cause you bigger problems. So I guess that's it on that. Um, and while I'm sitting in front of my computer, here's what the car used to look like. Let me turn this viewfinder around. That's what it used to look like. Yeah, this is something I should have added to the last video. Again, I'm just trying to give everybody information that I had a hard time finding. You know, Facebook has a lot of groups. So I'm in like six trans in groups and I asked every group to show me if they had a detail of how the license plate went together. Two people in the United States answered and one guy, I can't think of his name right now if you're watching this video, he, he's a good guy. He, in fact, he gave me my electric choke a long time ago. I can't remember why I can't remember his name. But anyway, here's a picture that I don't know where this came from. I can't find it in any manual, but here's what I was showing. Here's the three bolts. Here's those rubber spacers. Here's the bracket. And I think this is right. It says F series front license plate. It doesn't say a year, but I think this is right. We're going to try it in the future. I just want to show you some other parts, if I can find them. Uh, here's a license plate bracket. This is a one, another guy sent this to me on Facebook. There's those three holes. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, here's something I just, I just thought this was funny. The unknown forest where Home Depot sources their 2 by 4s I used to be in construction. When you go to Home Depot, a lot of the wood is bent. This is like a joke. That's it.